Nvidia GeForce 30 series cards have been ludicrously popular in gaming PCs, with their new Ampere architecture delivering outstanding performance. Whether you're aiming for the highest frame rates in competitive games or the best graphical fidelity with ray tracing dialed up to 11. If you want to find out more about the things to consider when buying a laptop in general, such as which CPU and GPU to opt for, along with screen size and resolution and other things to think about, then make sure you give our laptop buyer's guide a watch, which we've linked below. If you want to buy a 30 series laptop specifically, then you'll need to know about TGP and why it's important, which is what we're going to talk about in this video. The initial GeForce 30 series range of laptop GPUs comprises of three models, the RTX 3080, 3070 and 3060. And whilst these share the same name as the desktop counterparts, that's where the similarities end, as they have completely different specs. For example, the laptop 3080 has 29% fewer CUDA cores than the desktop 3080, and it's available in two memory configurations, 8 and 16 gigabytes. Meanwhile, the laptop 3070 only loses 13% of its CUDA cores compared to the desktop 3070, so you should expect to see less of a performance difference between 3070 and 3080 laptops than the 3070 and 3080 desktops. Booking this trend though, the laptop 3060 has 7% more CUDA cores than the desktop 3060, although it only has half the memory. What all three 30 series laptop GPUs do have in common though is that they have much lower power ratings than their desktop namesakes. Compounding the issue, unlike desktop GPUs that have a fixed power rating, 30 series laptop GPUs have a power range. This is referred to as the TGP, standing for total graphics power, and it can be seen in the last row of the table. For instance, whilst all laptops with a 3080 will have the same number of cores, the clock speed of the GPU and therefore its performance will vary enormously depending on its TGP. For instance, the 150 watt TGP 3080 has a sprightly base clock of 1350 MHz, whereas the 80 watt TGP 3080 trundles along at a base clock of just 870 MHz. This means that not all 30 series laptops are created equal and different models of laptop will perform very differently from one another. Nvidia offers a TGP range so that laptop manufacturers can come up with a wide variety of designs from thin and light laptops that tend to use low TGP GPUs to bulkier laptops with high TGP GPUs and everything in between. This isn't anything new, Nvidia has been doing this for years, however in previous GPU generations it used to add Max-Q onto the end of the name of GPUs with a low TGP. However, for 30 series Max-Q is used differently and refers to a collection of technologies, dynamic boost, whisper mode, resizable bar and DLSS that work together to improve your gaming experience. Because the TGP range of 30 series GPUs is so wide, it's critical to pay attention to the TGP being used in a particular laptop. For example, let's take a closer look at two RTX 3070 laptops. The first laptop, the Aorus 15XC, has a 130 watt TGP and a boost clock of 1620 MHz, whilst the second laptop, the Asus TUF Dash 15, has a TGP of 85 watts and a boost clock of 1390 MHz. That's an incredible 17% difference in performance between two laptops that ostensibly have the same GPU and just goes to show how important it is to check the TGP as it would be a mistake to think that both laptops will perform the same. So how do you ensure that you pick the perfect gaming laptop? Well, the answer to this, like many things in life, is education. What you have to do is not only pick the right GPU, but also make sure it has the right TGP. And this isn't simply a case of choosing the laptop with the highest TGP, but it will depend on your priorities. If, for example, you want the fastest laptop, then you'll have to accept some compromises, namely that the laptop will likely be on the thicker and heavier end of the spectrum, and it may be noisier and have a shorter battery life. In contrast, a thin and light laptop will almost certainly feature a low TGP and so offer less performance. To make matters more complicated, manufacturers may mix and match things up. 
for instance, making a quiet premium thin and light laptop with a high TGP and a noisier lower cost thin and light laptop with a low TGP. A good analogy for how to think about this is the two stage process you follow when ordering steak in a restaurant. First of all, you choose what cut of steak, such as rump, sirloin and ribeye that you want, as this has the biggest impact on cost and flavour. Or, in the case of a gaming laptop, which GPU, a 3080, 3070 or 3060, as this is going to have the biggest impact on cost and performance. Then, next up, you decide how you'd like the chef to cook your steak, rare, medium or well done, to match your palate. Or, in the case of a gaming laptop, what TGP is right to ensure that you get the desired experience in terms of performance, size, weight, noise and battery life. Unfortunately, laptop manufacturers haven't made this quite as easy as it should be. We're therefore encouraging manufacturers to be clearer about listing the TGP they specified for their laptops. And we're adding this information to the specifications tab on the product page on the SCAN website. Armed with this information, you can make an informed choice about which 30 series gaming laptop is best for you. To view the full range we sell at SCAN, visit our dedicated 30 series page, which we've linked below. We hope you found this video helpful. If you need more advice on how to pick the perfect gaming laptop for you, then be sure to watch our laptop buyer's guide that should help you find out everything you need to know. We hope that you found this video helpful. Please do give us a like if you have and be sure to subscribe for more helpful gaming and tech videos.